Oh. Yeah, how about that BT corn? Serious? It's probably a good thing. I think it's BS. No, it is. Think it's bogus? Yeah. I just want to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it's whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey. 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 What's the bait of yeah. 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 yeah! Let's get ready, guys! Yeah. 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 The host, John Young, Nate Fiala, and Taylor C. And finally, what have you all been waiting for? Nick Villon! Oh! First question, what is BT corn? BT corn is genetically engineered corn with a gene from Bacillus thuringiensis, otherwise known as BT. You bacteria that kills caterpillars, including the European corn borer, BT corn gives corn a natural pesticide to help fight off these pests. And here you can see this is the normal corn without the gene Bacillus thuringiensis. Mm. And this is the BT treated wow. corn. Without any pests, you can really see the difference there. That's well, immaculate. There's, a, there's, a, there's an immaculate difference. There. It's much better. Much, much just better. look at that BT. How, just it's helping. Without the BT, uh, what would corn Epic. be? What did you say? Epic. Mr. Pillow, why is BT corn bad in your opinion? You know, John, it's funny you should ask that because I have the uh, answer right here. Just hang on a second. You got it? Yeah, it's just uh it's just right here. A little nervous, Mr. Pillow? Sir. Sir. No. Just Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, um European U European Union environmental officials have determined that certain kinds of genetically modified corn could harm butterflies, affect food chains, and disturb life in rivers and streams. And they've proposed a ban on these corns. Really? Yes. Um, I think short-term effect is good, but in the long run, um, you'll start seeing certain caterpillars and other bugs developing a natural, a natural immunity. I and see. eventually there'll just be a large population of corn hungry BT immune bugs mm -hmm. in the world. Yes. In all cornfields in the world. Right. So I see what you're saying. You now short and long, when in Rome, Kisas, you need to balance these things. Great answer, sir. Um, That'd be it? Yes, that's all. Taylor C. Next question. Why is BT corn good in your opinion? John, I just want to say that is a great question. And I want to thank the nice people here at Nebraska University, home of the Corn Huskers, Wuha, Big Red. I just want to thank them for their nice uh, donation of letting us have this strong felt debate here. And I feel that BT corn is our future. Really? It has many advantages and it much weighs out the disadvantages. First, the level of toxins of the BT corn are much are, are six, significantly lower than the other toxins we use now. It can be much har much less harmful to humans when the corn is processed and is much better. Also, the toxins contained uh, within the plant system, and hence. Only those, the only those insects that feed on the crop perish. Um, not uh, so. <laughs> the BT is not only found in the crop, but also in the soil. So it helps. So the the bugs don't don't eat your crop at all, and it keeps your crop safe completely. So what you're saying is good. It's great. The toxin expression can be uh, mutilated by using tissue-specific parameters. 
and uh, replaces the use of synthetic pesticides in the environment. That sounds good. And so it makes a much more organic pesticide and a much less synthetic, keeping our families safer, our ourselves safer, and our farm animals safer. It is safer for our whole economy and environment. God bless America. Well, we definitely uh, went over our timeline, so we're going to about to take a commercial break. Is that corn good, guys? Two thumbs up. All so right. you're just not gonna share? Nah. All right, sweet guys. I mean, we, we did have a debate. We had a debate on our hands. We mentioned like we got a debate. <laughs> All right, um, Nick Pilla, do you agree with Mr. C? Well, first of all, uh, now that we're all awake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What do you mean? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, no, John, I, um, <laughs> no, I certainly do not agree with Mr. C. I think BT corn is going to make bugs that are resisted, <clears throat> that are immune to natural and synthetic pesticides. Well, first, I just want to say, John, you're all looking excellent tonight. That tie, shirt, jacket, it looks excellent. Hey, Unlike Mr. The... Unlike Mr. Pilla here, who obviously got his clothes at a discount store, Easy, he sir, definitely sir. went to a Joseph A. Banks. Can you? Back to the question. I personally think... Nicholas, can you please sit down? <laughs> Alright. My competitor is obviously in rage. Stop sir. being immature. Stop being immature. The question, sir. Repeat the question, sir. Alright. In refute to what Mr. Pilla said. He's just wrong. If we make res refugee crops for the insects, we can make sure that insects do not become overpopulated with bugs that are immune to the BT um to the BT pesticide. We have to enforce farmers to make them set a section of their crops with no pesticides at all and no BT to make sure that the bugs can eat those. Basically, it, it, sure, it could be a waste of money, it could be a waste of time, but it is something that will make BT very effective and will so, make the BT <clears throat> prosperous. <clears throat> In response to that, May I would I please like to say, say something real quick before yes. So what you're saying, checkerboard the, checkerboard the fields. Not even checkerboard. You'll have to set one section away, a corner off in the distance. I <laughs> serious. Well, um, so some research shows that uh, the BT corn can harm the environment in various ways, as we all know. Um, the U bacteria harms the butterflies, and it really does put a dent on the ecosystem. Um, you know. Nicholas Pilla brings a very valid point to the table when he says that the long-term effects um, could really be disadvantageous to our um, ecosystem because naturally there are some pests that are immune to the um, BT and naturally those pests will breed with um, non-immune pests. So Correct. eventually there will be a large population of non immune excuse me, immune pe right. uh, pests, basically making the BT ineffective in the long term, and it takes a valid uh, tool away from our farmers. Um, but then again, uh, Taylor here brings a valid point, saying that the level of toxin expression uh, is very high, which delivers sufficient dosage to the pests, and um, it replaces the uh, use of synthetic pesticides in our environment, so um, very well. It's a debatable topic, debatable topic. Um, as you can see, there's many pros and cons, and um, I mean, corn's good, so keep going, corn. Okay. So, agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Bada